students in Blue Valley, Gardner Edgerton and Piper all heading back to school today. KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell is joining us this morning live explaining what to do if families have issues with their virtual classroom. I'm sure some families are like nodding their heads. Yep, we already have uh, Savannah. What exactly is your advice and what kind of problems could students be facing this year? Well, Joe, those families may be nodding their heads right now. Could be in Lee Summit, Raytown, and Olathe. All of those districts had issues with their online servers yesterday during that first day of class. Now, all the school districts got them back up and running at least within a couple of hours, kept moving with the school day. But it's problems like that that people here in the Blue Valley District want to avoid on their first day of school. So most school districts right now have an IT line or email that people can contact if something goes wrong on the school end. However, technology experts say there are some things that parents can do to take some precaution to keep their students safe while learning at home. They suggest that you familiarize yourself with all of the privacy settings and parental controls on any device that's either new to the family or loaned from the school. They say now is a really good time to have a conversation with basic cybersecurity with the kids to keep any scams from coming in or any kind of malware coming in uh, and crashing any kind of school device. For those older students, they say that it is still possible to maintain some kind of control over those devices, even if the student is more tech savvy than the parent. You just need to make sure that you have a tighter rein on that device that they're using. If it's a smartphone, if it's a tablet, if they're not using it, go ahead and take that device away so that they don't have time to sit and stew and figure out ways to get around parental controls. And again, if you need help, reach out to a tech savvy buddy to help you counteract what your tech savvy teen is doing. Learning and working from home has increased a lot of people's screen time just on a daily basis. But these experts say that there are ways to keep that in check. We'll share how, share how coming up just a little bit after 6. Reporting live in Overland Park, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News. Wishing luck to all of these families. Certainly going to be a lot of trial and error, I'm sure. Thank you, Savannah.